is Darren Williams and I own the Cottonwood Cabins in Homer, Alaska. And we're here visiting the A-frame cabin on the property. It sits in the middle of uh, the perennial garden. We run a commercial greenhouse uh, wholesale operation and we take flowers and sell them all over the peninsula. The materials we use for the A-frame cabin was basically it's a two by four frame and those were purchased at the lumber store and then also the skin is metal and we recycled that from a roof that we replaced at a building in town and so the the whole skin is recycled everything else is pretty much uh, was bought at the hardware store basically uh, it's a 12 by 12 cabin with a four foot porch on it and we originally built this uh, for a guy that was living on our property that was helping us with the nursery and the treehouse cabin it was just basically a glorified tent we just kind of insulated it and sheeted the inside as we went and then when he left the property we turned it into another cabin so uh, for nightly rentals it has uh, power and heating so we actually have had people stay in the winter in here but it does not have running water we have just a, a sink and we haul water to it and then we have a bathroom that you that's a short walk to the a full bath with hot and cold running water you know it, it would the rain would hit the front uh, when it rained so we built this porch on at, this was kind of an afterthought a year after we built it I just thought it'd be nice to have an area to, to transition from the yard to going inside people can kick off their shoes and then it's a little sitting area as well it's always nice to have a porch or like an entry uh, you know a dry entry is always nice especially in Alaska when there's so much weather you know okay so as you can see this is the inside of the a-frame cabin and so it's pretty much no nonsense just a, a like a double bed and a little kitchenette we do have a stove and a refrigerator a propane stove and then we have other appliances we have a microwave and a toaster oven and then we just heat it with electricity so it's that's basically it's uh, very functional we've had a lot of people stay here it's one of our most popular cabins because of the price and people just love it here being in the garden and it's just real cozy i did build a loft up there and we're using it for storage people can store stuff up there but i was gonna have it um, where people could sleep up there but it was too tight and that's one of those hindsight things that i probably would have built the thing up another you know a uh, cup maybe another two feet or another foot and then it would have given us more more ceiling space for a loft so another one of those hindsight 2020 things well it's 12 by 12 so it's 144 square feet and you can see the walls we built up uh, it, it was a two foot pony wall so it gains you a little bit of more room but actually if i was to build it again i would probably build it up on a four foot pony wall 12 by 12 is really small if you could get away with a 16 by 16 that would be you would have a lot more room um, 16 by 16 would probably be more ideal so basically the idea of an a-frame is it's very simple to build we just we built it um, a truss system we just stood each truss up the great thing about an a-frame it's a very solid structure you know and it sheds the rain obviously it sheds the rain really well and so it's very simple to build very cost effective and um, and it's a very strong it can withstand snow loads and so that's kind of the advantages of an A-frame. Just a really simple, probably one of the most simple cabins you could build. I think originally we probably had, gosh, it couldn't have been more than a thousand dollars when we first started it. Now when you, you know, you have to buy insulation and then cheating on the inside. So, you know, maybe a couple thousand dollars total to get it to where it's at now, as far as uh, the basic structure. The door was used and I got a used window, used door, so uh, you can pick up things at uh, garage sales or whatever and that's kind of what I do and that saves a lot of money because a, you know, a, a good door is a couple hundred dollars, a good window is a hundred bucks, so save money here and there and recycle things. There's about 13 of them. Some of them might be sitting. Here they come. Here they come. That's most of them. There's a couple that might be gone because they're probably laying eggs. Okay, well welcome to the our greenhouse cottage this is the cottage built inside of our big greenhouse and uh, this is a, a government greenhouse that we 
were able to get and we have it uh, filled with fruit trees and different ornamentals. We just thought, shoot, well we got three other cabins, we might as well get build one more and, and just expand our income for the summer. And so we built a, a, it's a cottage in a greenhouse, a super basic structure, just basically a box. It's, uh, I think it's like about 11 by 18, so it's a small, small cabin but just built out just of uh, timber frame. And uh, this one has uh, maybe one recycled window, but um, most of this was just purchased at uh, our local lumber shop. Yeah, so this is our garden cottage. Um, again, we open this year round. It has a, a shared bathroom with the A-frame cabin, short walk to the, a full bath. And um, this is the greenhouse cottage. Okay, so what happened was when we first built this about four years ago, they are not. They were not designed um, with the grant. You had to order from the East Coast, but they were not designed for uh, storms and the winter time. So um, what happened was we had a really bad storm come through here, and it actually blew the whole greenhouse up and folded it in half, and uh, we had to rebuild it. And so um, these uh, big timbers here were. I got these from a garage sale and uh, we put these big timbers to anchor into the ground and then also to support a snow load so sometimes if we get a, a couple feet of snow that's what this would support the frame of the, of the greenhouse inside of the greenhouse cottage. My wife Lorraine designed all the colors and the interior here and uh, basically just has like a, a pine tongue and groove ceiling and um, you can see a small kind of no, no frills but comfortable we can sleep. Uh, we have a queen size bed and then we have the, the click clack uh, futon and um, just real basic we have uh, a little kitchenette with uh, just your basic things to, to cook food and um, a sink where we haul the water into. And so this is just a real basic cabin. And again, this is probably even more popular than the A-frame, one of our less expensive cabins. And we just have people come from all over the world to stay here. Okay, so you can find us on homercottonwoodcabins.com. We're on Facebook on Cottonwood Cabins. And we're on Airbnb, VRBO, and uh, TripAdvisor. So you can find us. And also you can look up Treehouse and Homer is the best way to find us if you're just looking on a, a search engine because um, we're one of the only tree houses in, in Homer. So hope to host you and, and come to visit us here in Homer, Alaska. Mm -hmm.